a couple of years ago, a friend of mine was playing uh, at a bar. He was a musician. And I went to see him, and uh, he had said, show starts at 7. So I got to the bar early, like 6.30, thinking I'm going to get a seat hear every, every note of this, right? So I get there, and I I'm, I'm get a seat at the bar, and the guy finally, he shows up with his guitar, and it's like after 7. I said, what's going on? I said, oh, the show doesn't start till 8 or 8.30. I was like, oh, really? This is where I need to be, sitting at a bar for the next hour and a half. Terrific idea. So I got a cocktail napkin. This is like a dream, right? And I, and I had a pen with me. And I wrote this poem while I was sitting at the bar. And it was one of those like brass and fern bars where you wanted to pimp slap everybody. And it's called At the Yuppie Bar. Everyone at the bar is much cooler than me. That guy with the shades on, I think you'd agree, is smoother than ice with his perfect neat scotch, his hill figure jeans and his thick Rolex watch. That woman with white wine is filled to the brim with her talk about timeshares, Volvos, and gyms. She checks out the bar with a blind woman's stare, and by God, we are blessed just to breathe the same air. <laughs> They're all so much cooler, they just ooze a plum, like that dude over there who got fat in dot com. And nobody smokes, and they all know each other, like separate children from a country club mother. And then there's me at the end of the bar with my low self-esteem in my econo car. I'm sipping club soda, as cheap as it gets, still trying to chase dreams while balancing debt. So everyone at the bar is much cooler than me. They're Ralph Lauren Oxfords to my armpit stained tea. But when closing time comes, I'm cool and they're schmucks. Because they're drunk and they're stupid. And my bill is three bucks. <laughs>